What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the areas to avoid if you are looking to move here to Las Vegas. All right, so like I said guys, today's video I'm going to be telling you the areas to avoid if you are looking to move here to Las Vegas. Now, before we jump into that, if you're new to the channel, you're interested in topics about moving to Vegas, things about Las Vegas, things to do in Las Vegas, and you're just interested in learning about my life here in Las Vegas, make sure you click subscribe down below. That way you never miss out on a future video. Now, the first thing I wanna say is this is gonna vary from individual to individual. Some people have a higher quality of life. Some people have a lower quality of life and there's nothing wrong with either of those, but this is speaking from my experience, so speaking from what I look for when I go to live somewhere and what I look for always is obviously something that fits my price range, that's very important. Something that I feel safe in, I don't wanna ever come home and not feel safe. So those are my two main factors when I take into account where I'm gonna live. And I'm just gonna share with you a few of the areas that I decided not to live and some areas that I've driven through that I don't think you should live in either. So the first area that I'm gonna start with guys is obviously everybody knows the strip in Las Vegas. It's up to you if you wanna actually live on the strip. There is some nice condos there. So if that's the thing you're into, you're into that fast paced lifestyle, you always wanna be around the strip, you wanna be around the casinos, the entertainment. There is a lot of nice options that you can do on the strip. But when you go just a block from there, you start getting behind the strip, like behind the MGM Grand, for example, anything just along those roads, the closer you get to the strip, the more sketchy that it is going to get. And this is where you start to notice that there's just more homeless around. You start to notice the potholes in the road, just the lower quality of how things are taken care of, which is just kind of astonishing to me because if you just go a couple streets over, you're at the strip and the strip is not the cleanest place, but there's so much money flowing through there and so much wealth flowing through there that it's amazing that you can have something like that right there and then just a few blocks away it's kind of sketchy and dirty and you know there's homeless people and this and that so just be aware that anything in and around the strip you're probably going to get some lower prices it may look attractive on the website the pictures may look really nice they're probably edited um, make sure that if you are considering anything around the strip go and visit it first check it out and just see if it's going to be a good fit for you um, crime is always going to be higher over there just because of you know all the reasons i stated before the homelessness and all that different stuff that comes along with that. So anything in and around the strip, I would avoid. The next area that I'm gonna say is anything along Boulder Highway. Now this is a stretch that goes from the strip down and then you can go into North Vegas as well. It runs pretty far through the city, but I've driven along it from Henderson up to about the strip. I haven't really made it up on the north side. I would imagine it probably got worse because once I drove up Boulder Highway and got towards the strip, I did start to feel a little bit weary. Um, you start to see more police cars, you start to see more of your payday loans, cash advance places, checks cash. And you're gonna see these in Las Vegas anywhere you go, but I started to see a large abundance of them, really like low end, kind of cheap dive bars. There was shopping carts, some homeless people were starting to pop up more on Boulder Highway. Um, and this was even in the Henderson area of Boulder Highway. It wasn't as bad as you got towards Henderson, but the more that you went up towards the strip, um, it did start to get a little bit worse. Now, I do actually go to church over at Central Church, which is pretty close to Boulder Highway. And that's where I started to notice once you get from there up along Boulder Highway, it does start to get a little dirty and um, just you don't really feel that safe. I was looking at some apartments along Boulder Highway because the price looked really good. I think they were like $1,000, they were offering a free month and they looked pretty nice online. But the second that I started to drive into that area, I immediately, I didn't even look at the apartments because the second that I got into that apartment complex, there was a community police officer that was just kind of sitting in his car looking out. And then as I got up towards the leasing office, there was a cop parked at the leasing office. So to me, that's a complete just red flag. Obviously that's not somewhere I wanna live because there's crime clearly going on or they're looking for somebody in that area. So just from my experience, what I've seen, I would avoid anything along the Boulder Highway region. All right, so the next area that we're gonna talk about guys is downtown. So downtown is any city you go to, there's always going to be more crime, there's always gonna be more trash, there's always going to be more homeless, it's always gonna be typically more expensive. So anytime you're getting into a downtown area, I feel like people kind of have an idea of what they're getting into. 
So it depends what you're gonna be looking for. Now, if you're somebody who is gonna be always going down to Fremont Street, you like the entertainment down there, you wanna be able to go to the bars with your friends late at night, um, and you're a younger individual, then you may really like downtown. But once you get off of that little tourist area of Fremont Street, there's not really a whole lot going on downtown. Yes, you have Container Park, but that's kind of built into Fremont in a way. I don't really consider them too different. But once you get off from there, you're gonna to start to notice just it feels very run down. There's a lot of really cheap motels. You start to see again the homeless, the shopping carts, the trash all over the place. It just feels like a dump, to be honest. Now, I like downtown Las Vegas to go visit. I like to go out there to go to Fremont Street, like I said, go to Container Park. There's a really nice art district and you can get some decent deals on some apartments downtown. You can get some renovated studios for $750, $800. Um, so very affordable price range, but just know with that downtown lifestyle does come all of the same issues that we've stated before, the homelessness, the trash, the dirtiness, and the crime. Now, it's gonna be up to you. You know, you may be okay with that risk to save some money. You may not be. So it's just something that you really have to evaluate I don't wanna say that it's super dangerous, but it's not really an ideal area. There is some newer apartments that have gone up that are the interior entrance style, um, whereas like not just walking up to your door from the street. Uh, and those are you typically a little bit safer because you're gonna need your key card to get into them and the hallways, and they're typically gonna have a security guard. There's some condos there. So there is some secure, nice places that you can live downtown, um, but just be aware the second that you leave your apartment, you know, it's gonna be a typical kind of downtown environment. And last up on the list, guys, is gonna be North Las Vegas. Now, personally, I wasn't gonna include this in the list because I've never been there, so I hate to even include this on the list, but just from the pure fact that I've heard so many people tell me to avoid North Las Vegas, I think it's pretty easy for me to include it on this list. And I've also heard that there is some hidden gems in North Las Vegas, but I've, also heard that the closer you get to Nellis, like the Air Force Base, anything like around Nellis Boulevard, I've heard is just a place that you just want to avoid. I've even had a couple of you guys comment about North Las Vegas and Nellis Boulevard. So I'm not gonna have a whole lot to say on the subject. If you have more information about North Las Vegas, maybe you have an experience there, maybe you live there, uh, maybe you have lived there in the past and you have just experience with that area, drop a comment down below. Let me know your experience with it so that we can share it with each other. Um, but I had to just include it on this list because of almost everybody who I've interacted with has always told me to avoid North Las Vegas. I've never heard a single person tell me anything good about it besides a couple of people in the comments mention a few hidden gem areas that were actually pretty nice. So those are my top four places that you should avoid when you're moving here to Las Vegas. There's probably more that I'm not listing, but those are probably the main four in my experience that I've gone through Las Vegas and seen and driven through that I personally would avoid. If you're moving here and you're looking for maybe some more information about moving here, I'm gonna put a card to my playlist that's on one of these sides that you can check out. I have videos about best places to live. I have comparison between here and Los Angeles because we get a ton of people that are moving here from California, so that's been a great video. Also, if you just are looking for any specific reasons to move here, I've got five reasons why to move here, five reasons why to not to move here, and I've also got some walking videos throughout Henderson, Green Valley, and a couple different places that you can check out. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, video recommendations, anything you guys want me to cover, make sure you drop down in the comments below. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button because like I said, we do videos about Vegas, we do videos about travel vlogging, mindset, all types of different things that you guys want me to cover. And I'm gonna start to be doing a little more of my daily life on here as well. Just here living in Las Vegas and taking you guys through my day and showing you what I do and all that good stuff. So if that, again, if that's something you're interested in, smash the subscribe button down below and then hit the little bell. That way you never miss a new video when I post it. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.